Hi subscribers, welcome back to my channel Survey Got Easier. On Survey Got Easier, you get solutions to how to use surveying software, surveying mobile apps, surveying instruments, how to carry out practical exercise. Any survey related works, you definitely get it on the channel. All right, today I'm going to be sharing with you on how to extract alignment data from AutoCAD Civil 3D to Excel. Now on my screen here, I have alignment and profile. On my last video on root survey, when you check my videos on engineering, you're going to find out this particular video with this thumbnail. So for those who don't know how to plot a root survey, a root data, how to carry out network quantity, you can definitely utilize the video. You can watch the video on how to get it done because you have to know this the prerequisite of how to do your profile alignment and cross section which is going to aid you to generate your volume report so on this video everything was well explained it was very detailed for those who are yet to do that you can check the video out and for those who have watched that this particular video kudos to you i think you deserve an applause thank you this is what i'm going to be working with and this is my alignment and this is my profile you can see from my screen here i have the changes and the alignment while this is the profile but particularly today i'm going to be focusing on alignment how to export the alignment data to your excel to word all right to get it done firstly what you have to note is that on civil 3d paradventure you are done with your data like you in a cases whereby you are told to export it out in a report format or you want it to be exported to your result all you simply do is to the default of your civil 3d is going to be under the prospector under this two space now if prevention this two space was turned off that is you don't have it on your own software it was probably mistakenly turned off all you have to do is to click on this home and as soon as you click on the home you're going to find out this place that says two space and you click on your two space then it's going to turn off now you can see now i have it back so the default usually be on prospector in order for me to be able to generate this particular report i'm referring to all i'll simply do is to come to my toolbox so I'll click on my two balls. Now under the two balls, now I have report manager. So since we are dealing with report, so we're going to click on this plus sign beside the report. Then it's going to give us the, the details of the report that we can work with. Like as you can see on the screen now, we have alignment, we have corridor, we have pass through pipes, point, profile, and line. But for the alignment now, by the time you click on this plus sign beside the alignment, now we have alignment curve we have alignment design we have general lega we have increment station mini we have five station report and likes now we also have point as well under this point now we have point in clv i'll be exporting to data the first one is going to be my alignment curve so i'll click on this alignment curve and i'll right click and click on execute then it's going to bring out this page on the screen for you so on this place here you can uncheck all and you can check all through this place here and you click on ok and it's going to bring out save page for you that is under this file type now you can see the file type you can definitely select your file type you have test document we have you can see what document any files type that you want you save it with this file that type display you want and you can give it any name of your choice so that you can definitely recognize that particular volume that you want that particular report you want to generate so i'll definitely name this as survey report i'll name it as survey report then i'll select the location and i'll click ok then it's going to bring out the report for me it's going to open automatically itself now i have the report on the screen you can see the report that you can edit the names the title the details of the report that you want that you can rename you can do the editing the client company's name project description prepared by all those stuff you know report date and time you can see everything the project name everything will be on it now you can see now these are the words these are the tangent data you can see these are the curve data these are the tangent data for each of the station you can see now radius length zero you can see 
mid ordinate we have called left and right for each station changes at every station you're going to get the the alignment data for that and that is how to generate the report alignment curve report that is for alignment now under the point now we have point lsv so for the point in clsv now if i want this particular point that is my xyz coordinates the changes to appear in csv now so since i've checked in the point the plus sign beside the point now all i'll simply do is i'll right click or i double click on the point then i'll click on execute then i'll click ok so now it's going to open my excel automatically and list out you can see it it has been generated automatically you can see the point name Nothing's eastern elevation and description now so this is the xyz and the changes now you can see 0 25 50 75 100 by the time you check your alignment you can see the changes was designed to be on 25 meter interval and that is why you are able to get on the description the 25 meter interval for adventure you want to cross check you can just do what you can just type one of the generated one of the generated coordinates report maybe for the first one now when you copy the eastern and the north east now when you come back to your autocad civil and just plot the part the first point is going to direct you to that first particular first point and if you want it to be in a point list you click on point list and you execute that as well and you click ok so now we have the file type you can select the file type that you want i will leave it with this word document so i'll give it report survey report to name it as survey report to and i'll click ok i'll click on save this is the report now so in a situation that you are told to present this your xyz in a report format like in a representable way that can be presented in world you can see it we automatically give it to you in world in roll and rolls and columns so we have the world we have the eastern nothings height for the stations and the world the changes and that is how to export alignment data from civil 3d to excel you can also export your profile data you can export this profile data through the what through this provide details there when you click on to profile details and likes so on my subsequent videos i will be sharing with you on how to export provide data i believe by the time you are done watching this video you will be able to export xyz data of alignment yourself let me give you an applause once more because i believe it's something you'll be able to do now <laughs> all right thank you for that if you found my video helpful, do not to subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share.